I was fucking, I was in the car. Oh. <laughs> and what was it I dropped in your car? Uh, uh, a can. I dropped a can. I dropped a can on the floorboard, and I had the seatbelt on, and I leaned forward to grab it. <laughs> and I felt like a rabbit getting field dressed. I thought I was going to shit my guts out. And you could tell by the noise he made. It was just a... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I felt the blood rush to my head, and my face get red, and I was like... Ugh. So yeah, if you stretch the sack, I do believe it's called the bat wing. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Game of You Bye. <laughs> you catch me off guard like that every fucking time. I know, I love it. <laughs> welcome to this week's episode, everybody, of Game Love You Bye. What's up? How you been? I've been good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Nobody's asking. Nobody's asking. <laughs> but there's they're tuning in to see what's up with this guy. And it's not his dick. Spoiler. <sighs> Baby dick alert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we continue on, just want to remind everybody, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you are a subscriber, go ahead and hit the notification button. It looks like a little bell. That way you get notified every time. <sighs> fucker. Smash. Every time that we drop something new, you're going to get notified, and uh, you're not going to miss out on stupid shit. Dude, I didn't know that Bell did that. Like a couple of weeks ago, I'm like, oh, hey. Yeah, because I mentioned it. <laughs> I'm on a podcast. I didn't know that if you push the bell. <clears throat> yeah. It's, I mean, it makes sense. You hit a bell, kind of like, hey, dinner's ready, or hey, podcast is ready. Come ki- come take a watch. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, Snapchat's blowing right now. Dude up it's not blowing that'd be great thank you guys for being you i appreciate you he appreciates you i most certainly do we appreciate you yeah uh speaking of let's get into this topic quick i'm willing to bet i'd say a good 90 dollars seven percent of the people that listen to us Uh uh-huh like cheese who doesn't like cheese? Right? There are some weirdos that don't like cheese. Like lactose intolerant people. Well, okay. So most lactose See, intolerant I'm people. I'm lactose tolerant. <laughs> so I don't. Dead joke alert. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Most people who are, like, not most, but I guess a lot of people who are lactose intolerant too still love cheese and they will risk that fucking bubble guts for some Dude, solid cheese. Uh, if I was or lact- milk. If I was lactose intolerant, I guarantee you I'd be fucking shit and fire because I would be eating cheese. Wouldn't be all the time. Uh, you'd, get, you'd get so tired. Dude, of I, I'm one of them, man. Like, well, we were talking about it the other day. Like, one why of them don't. Men. What? You just said, I'm one of them men. No, did it. That's what it sounded like. I'm one of them men. It's because my voice is gone and oh. I was squeaking like a little fucking like biatch. Like a little girl? A little squeaky squeak. Like a little teenage boy? Uh, do pizzas. We were talking about pizzas the other day and how we were like, hey, pizzas. less sauce, more cheese. Like, I'd yes. rather have more cheese than sauce on my yeah. pizza. It's my favorite when you grab a piece and you pull it up and you're this high and you're like, Fuck it. Oh, oh yeah. That one's mine. You just wrap up that. Yeah. And then just <laughs> like, stick it right on top. <laughs> you pull it. Like you don't even savor it. The cheese is going to break, but it Yeah. You don't even breaks. savor it. You just take that whole fucking cheese that you just wrapped on there and take it on that first whole Especially bite. when you're sharing a pizza and you're like trying to be like, I don't want to. Don't want to touch the cheese somebody else is going to eat. Some mm-hmm. people are weirdos and germs. Yeah, yeah. Weirdos. And you get to the point where you're like. Three foot above the pizza, and you're like, anyone got a step stool? The cheese is still stringing, and you're like, fuck it. Just grab it and rip it off. Like, you're going to, my do, germs. Do you fold <laughs> your pizza when you eat it, or do you just eat it like a slice <clears throat> as it comes? Uh, a combination of both. So I have a mad, a, a madness method to my madness when I eat a piece of pizza. There's something about that little piece at the tip, like a triangle cut pizza, right? You grab it. You pick it up like a normal piece and it like flops down. Yeah. There's something about that little piece that flops down that I like to get that fucker off of there. 
clean her up, square it up so it's nice, and then I fold it. Well, you know, if you fold it, it helps keep that piece up. It yeah, I know, but I, I just like to eat that piece I just, first. I don't I just, know. I just got to fold that whole thing. It's a weird. It's a weird. Another one of those weird so much things better. I do. I don't know why, it, but it <clears throat> is. Dude. Dude. You don't like Hawaiian pizzas. Well. But I'm just thinking because, so I just, I brought back Pineapple some does not belong on pizza. I'm just going to throw that out right now. Doesn't. I, we were just talking because I brought back a bunch of cheeses. From Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Why did you say it like that? Huh? That wasn't even close. What? Wisconsin. You sound like a Italian mob boss trying to fucking say Wisconsin. No, I wasn't trying to Wisconsin. be Wisconsin. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to be Wisconsin. What? We used to. That's it's something I used to say when we were in high school. Like we used to call it Scanson. But you said Wisconsin. I know, but it, but you just just murdered the fucking accent completely. I wasn't trying to do a Wisconsin accent. Whatever. You're just only lying to yourself. <laughs> I'll fucking lie to your face. You just did. No, not right <laughs> now, I didn't. Okay. Uh, so, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, I was just thinking, because I brought back some blueberry cheddar cheese. Would not expect that to be fantastic. Dude, that shit was fucking awesome. It was really fucking good. And I got to thinking here, like, right? So, like, fruity, blueberry, blueberry, fruity in my cheese. What if you made like a Hawaiian pizza, but you shredded that block of fucking blueberry fucking cheddar cheese all over the top of a Hawaiian pizza? My you God. Probably wouldn't notice it as much because that stupid pineapple was, I love pineapple by itself, just FYI, but that stupid pineapple would uh, <clears throat> just overpower it. Do you know why? Do you know, because you know it doesn't want do? pizza. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a road trip. I'm going to go buy more. And You're I'm going to make, make yourself a fucking one? pizza. Mm-hmm. Out of, I'm going to eat the shit out of it. Oh, better you than me, I guess. I'm going to ask you politely to try yeah, it. Yeah, you are. I'll try it. And I'm going to say, this is fucking <laughs> disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, I got weird, weird stuff that I do weird. Brandon, er. everybody does stuff weird. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Hawaiian pizza is fucking good. It's not. There's gonna be a, a large. <clears throat> there's a large amount of the population that would Let me ask agree you this. with me. Okay. Okay. If you liked Hawaiian pizza, are you a green pepper on your pineapple or on your Hawaiian pizza, or are you a no green pepper on your Hawaiian pizza? I don't know. I've tried. Hawaiian pizza one time fucking hated it. You probably ate a shitty so fucking pizza. No. You probably ate like a bar stool like 4.8 no. Hawaiian pizza. No, it was just a we Hawaiian need, pizza. We need to get you a good one. You're not going to get a good you, one because none of them are good. There's some Hawaiian pizzas like some of them come with like green peppers and shit on them. And okay. I, think, I think it's fucking way better with like green peppers and like some onions and shit you on there. You know what you should try? What? Not a Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> yeah, definitely that. But if you're going to do Hawaiian, you should throw some banana peppers on there and see how that goes. Oh, dude, you know. You know how I am with yellow peppers. Banana peppers. Yeah, same thing. It's not. So Brandon yelled at me one day. We were going to Subway to get lunch. And for some reason, I don't know why, I call them yellow peppers. Probably because they're yellow. Right? That makes sense. But they're called banana peppers. Well, because yeah. yellow peppers are bell peppers that... Our yellow variety. Yeah, but I, I mean, you've seen the subway that we go to to get sandwiches. Yeah. Some of the workers there need you to specify the color of no. what they're putting on the sandwich. Nope. Every time I've gone there, I say banana pepper. And you know what they grab? Yellow peppers. Banana peppers. <laughs> they grab them and they put them on fine. So you're just. Thinking your own weird scenarios in your head because Dude, hey, you're ridiculous. I'm, but am I wrong? Yeah. No. They're a pepper and they're yellow, right? Kind of. Yellow pepper. Yeah. Right? Sure, but they're not so their name. So does the banana pepper taste do you like call banana? A, do you call a cucumber an un, unpickled pickle? No, I call it a cucumber. <laughs> Of the green stick, unpickled green stick. <laughs> of an unpickled cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> banana pepper. Does a banana pepper taste like a banana pepper? Yeah. 
No. Do you know why it's called a banana pepper? It tastes like banana pepper because it looks like a banana when there, it's whole. There you go. Do you know where... <laughs> Fucking help me now. <laughs> God, you're dumb. <laughs> By the way, Mars you know is the fourth the, planet. Do you know where the expression cockeyed came from? Oh, God. Don't go there. <laughs> That's not even where it comes from. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so Earth is the fourth rock from the sun. Mars is the third, apparently. You had to explain where Mars was. <clears throat> Dude, had, I had no idea. I got fucking confused, man. I was thinking what's bad is I thought everybody, for the most part, knew but I asked two other people. Do you know what? One did not. One had to think about it. Do for you know a good what minute. planet gets forgot about all the time? Pluto, Venus, because it's not a planet anymore. Venus. Venus. No, it doesn't. Because most people, when they remember the planets, they don't remember all of them. They say Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. What's the rest? Who? That's how it usually goes. Uh, or man, what was it? What was the old? Uh, Elementary uh, school saying something about women, women go to oh, something and men, men go to Venus to get a penis. No, <laughs> I have a penis already. <laughs> you get an extra penis? No, it's uh, extra. Think about what you could do with two penises. There's actually there's a few different things. It's, I'd be that guy that men go two to fucking tiny penises. <laughs> men go to Jupiter to get more stupid. Women go to Venus to get a penis. Yeah, and there it is. Uh, get more stupid. And then somebody goes to Mars to get more candy bars. Yeah, <laughs> so stupid candy shit. bars. Yeah. I went yeah. to Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I went to Venus. I was like, fuck the women. I'm yeah. going to Venus. I'm getting myself a penis. Yeah. And they fucking bent you over as soon as you got there. <laughs> they sure did. Let me tell you something. Fuck. Whew. That was like middle Reel school. It in. That was like early. It wasn't even middle school. That was like early, like elementary school, like was third, a, yeah, third yeah. grade. Yeah, and I think about that too. I was like, God, what kind of shit do my kids say? You know? Oh, dude. Because when I was my kids 10, are f- getting fearless. Are they? Oh yeah, they're getting fearless, man. Like I'll be in the other room, and like they're getting to the point where they think that you can't hear them. And I, I'm not listening, or I'm yeah. not I'm paying attention. And they'll drop like a fucking f bomb or this and that. Oh yeah. And I'll like, I'll do the shit where I like, I'll stop like, I'll stop what I'm doing. I'll put down whatever I got, <laughs> and I'll calmly turn around and start walking my way towards like the bedrooms or the living room, whichever they're in. And I'll just casually walk and I'll stop right outside of the fucking <laughs> where I'm trying to catch them. And they'll say it again or do something else. And I'll walk in the room and I'll just stand there as quiet as possible. And they'll be fucking fighting and yelling and this and that. And one of them will be like, you fucker. (laughs) (laughs) And then they'll like turn and they'll be like, they'll see me and their whole fucking life just like bleeds from them. Like, oh, shit. Oh no! <laughs> I'm like, and I don't say anything. I just look at them. <laughs> they fucking, they're like, uh oh, uh oh. I didn't, I didn't say it. Or like, I that, said schmucker. Or like that it's weird shit where word. like you you walk in and you catch them, and as soon as you catch them, like they do that shit where they just like they see you and they like kick and throw their arms like, oh, I was just, I was just playing, Dad. <laughs> you, you caught me playing. I don't. I've never, they've never, my kids have never done that. <laughs> you catch them and they like do this awkward shit, like they're trying to like play off that they weren't doing anything wrong. Oh, my, both my kids it was like, oh hey, hey, didn't see you there, Dad. <laughs> we were just talking about stuff. My, mine will be fighting and shit, and uh, you know I'll I'll hear what's going on. And my youngest will come as as soon as like they see me. It's usually the youngest too. She'll look at me and like know that I heard some shit. And she'll be like, so what happened was Bailey was doing this. And then I said, no, you can't do this. <laughs> you know, some stupid shit like that. <laughs> she like tries to go ahead and throw her, her fucking, uh, her story out there first. You yeah. know, it's like, shut yeah. up. Hey, first story out there is 10, tends to be the truth. Yeah, it definitely is. 
It's just like, so what happened is. <laughs> So I was playing all by myself when Bailey Bailey comes out of nowhere and just punches me in the mouth. <laughs> so I hit her back. Do you remember the last time we were editing and and we were sitting there and uh, Bailey was on her computer and she just like randomly started like I can't remember what she said, but she was like, making noises and stuff. Or <laughs> she was just playing her games, like randomly start making noises. Yeah, she does like, that. Dude, it caught me off. <laughs> she does that shit randomly, dude. All the time, oh. she does some random sounds and shit. Yeah, it was like she was like, she was trying to make the music for what she was doing on her computer. She and, probably was, and it it was like to her, it probably made sense, but like to us, oh. editing, not paying any attention to what she was doing. When she did it, I was like, yeah, get it, Bailey. Dude, she does some weird shit sometimes. Oh, <laughs> uh, she looks just like you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jane, uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to show you this picture. Uh, Jane saw this picture the other day, and she's like, now... Everyone says Corbin looks like you when you were young, but I see this picture of you. <laughs> and Corbin looks nothing like you. <laughs> so my this is this is me and my cousin, the one we grew up like brothers, grew up as, as brothers, as brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd alert! Yeah, <laughs> you got the same hat on. Yeah, <laughs> same fucking hat, dude. That's uh, and. Do you know where we were going? Or so because we had the same hat on, this picture was after we had already been where we were going. But do you know where we went that day? Uh, <clears throat> fishing? No, I don't know. I'm not a clue. We went to the Titanic Museum. Oh, of course you did. Yeah. Because when I was that age in that picture, like. I was the biggest Titanic buff you've ever met in the fucking world. Dude, I knew everything about the Titanic. How many people died? How mm -hmm. many people lived? How many lifeboats didn't get launched? How long the Titanic stayed afloat after it fucking hit the iceberg? I knew fucking everything. How thick was the steel that the Titanic was made out of? It was 18 inches. That's not right. That's not right. Probably not. No. I don't know. No, I'm actually... Uh, would it even be steel? I don't fucking know. No, it was steel. Was it? It was all fucking, it was all fucking pounded rivets and shit. Mm. But, uh, that, dude, that was my thing. I had a fucking 3D puzzle. You on probably the Titanic. Loved the fucking movie, huh? I had a giant book, like a, like a giant book. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was probably 18 inches wide closed, and then you flip it open. <laughs> Jesus. And, like you'd flip it open and it was like you're looking at the front of the ship and it had like all the deck levels and shit and you could see what was on each deck and what they stored and such a nerd dude i was all about it oh my god <clears throat> and i was such a big fan of the titanic right yeah like, i fucking loved the titanic and i was so interested in it that when the movie came out my parents let me watch the scene where jack drew the naked picture of rose and i was like ten, and i'm like yeah. <laughs> oh, titties. This is the best part of the whole movie. Oh, I fucking loved it. I'm like, oh, boobies. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and the whole time I, like, I remember the first time I watched it, I was sit. It was the first house uh, that I ever lived in, and I'm sitting on the couch. My dad's in like the the lazy boy, and my mom was on the other side of the couch, and I was like hanging over the armrest, like glued to the TV. And all of a sudden, here comes the scene, and her boobs come out. And I, like, looked at my mom and dad, waiting for him to be like, all right, get out of here, leave the room. And they, like, didn't say anything. And I was like, and I, like, checked back again. Maybe they didn't and, notice me. It and, and it was like, they were like, this is, this is the movie for you to watch. Like, of all movies, you want to watch this movie, it's okay. And I'm like. Booby, <laughs> dude, I fucking, I'll never forget it. And and that, that was back when it when it first came out, and it was on VHS. And I remember you weren't it, ten then. Did you say you're ten? I was like, you would have been like 
I was like nine or ten. You would have been no. Not when it first came out. You would have been like three years old. Are you fucking shitting my dick right now? I'm not shitting your dick. What year were you born? All right. What year were you born? Jujo. Hold on. What year were you born? I'm not gonna say it publicly. Get the fuck out of here. Ninety one. Ninety one. So you were like five or six when it first came out. Because it came out in like ninety six, ninety seven. It did come out in ninety seven. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it was just the first time I watched it then. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, because I would have been. You're so you're so cute, dude. <laughs> I would have been ten in like two thousand one. So nine would have been two thousand. Yeah. Maybe I was a little younger than I thought. I, don't I know. was ten when it came out. I don't. Know. Well, oh, I was. Hey. I would say ninety seven, right? You always gotta be fucking right. I was 11. 97. What? I don't always have to be. Uh, I just always am. But I can't help dude, that. I, it was like, I remember the VHS set. Like, after it came out, and we saw, like, because the first time I saw it, my parents bought the VHS set, and like, I didn't really see it. And I remember it was like, remember when they had like really long movies back in the day, and it was like the double VHS? Yeah. There's two. Yeah. Like, you got to a certain point, and it was like, Please change tape two. <laughs> yeah. Like Schindler's List. Yeah. Did you watch that movie? No. No, I didn't. I can't believe you've never seen Schindler's List. I can't believe you've never seen Titanic. I've seen Titanic. <laughs> Jesus, dude. dude you just. You gotta stay in more. I guess. <laughs> you don't gotta get out more. You gotta stay in more. Watch some fucking movies. I need to stop getting around so much. Yeah, Jesus. Schindler's List. It's a classic. I've never seen it. I can't believe that. It is, man. Sometimes it is what it is. I'm an uncultured swine. You are uncultured swine. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen the movie Babe. My God. Speaking, Speaking of, of swine. swine. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but have dude. you seen Charlotte's Web? Yes. Wow. I have. Okay. Charlotte was kind of a kind of a bitch in that movie. No, she wasn't. At first. She was like the nicest person spider ever. No, she was kind of a bitch at first. You know our episodes are gonna turn into what movie has Colby not seen this mm. week? Well, there's a lot of movies out there that I haven't seen. I I've seen quite that's a true. I've seen quite a few movies though. Yeah. Uh I'm trying to think of uh a good classic that I remember watching like on VHS. Classic as in Do you, do you know what you know what classic movie from okay, classic like my age classic. Mm-hmm. Your age classic. Remember, like, the original Flintstones? The movie? The movie, not the cartoon. Like, the original Flintstones movie with fucking... Uh, uh, John Goodman? John Goodman and... Uh, Rosie O'Donnell. And... Uh, um, honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I can't think of his name. Uh, oh God, why can't I think of her name? Her name? Yeah. I thought you she was the of... assistant to John Goodman as Fred, like when he got the big boy job. What? She wore the sexy fucking outfit. Hold on. Uh, Halle Berry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I totally forgot she yeah. was in that. And they were arresting her, and she was like, I've been a bad, bad girl. <laughs> the Halle Berry. <laughs> I remember being like fucking a little kid. Like, hmm. Have you ever seen Monsters Ball? I've seen basketball. <laughs> you seen basketball? Yeah, that's actually surprising. That's a fucking no monsters ball. Dude. Fucking she basketball. gets railed hard by Billy Bob Thornton, naked. See her full Monty, pretty much, dude. So think about filming a movie, right, and having to do like a hardcore sex scene like that. Mm-hmm. Do you think some of the yes. actresses and actors actually do. have sex? They do. So I actually saw something about that one time, <laughs> and it was that. It It'd was like a set. Fake it was like a set of movies. Um, be hard to fake. It, one, it was soft. like there was like different. <laughs> there was like <laughs> that's what you need a fluffer for. He's like <laughs> fluffer. <laughs> like, but there was uh, it was 
Nymphomaniac. There was like a, I never saw him, but I heard about it. And one of them was uh, Shia LaBeouf was in there, and they actually did. Uh, some of them actually did like the. I don't know if it, if they were fucking or what exactly they did, but yeah, they actually did the the whole they did the whole sex scene, whatever whatever scene they were doing. That was legit. So some sometimes I suppose they do. I've thought of, I've thought about that. Like, imagine imagine like having to do a sex scene, right? And like make it seem real. Yeah, that'd be hard. It'd like be that, hard. It'd be hard not to get hard. It'd be soft, but and then be like awkward about it. Like I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to act here. <laughs> so, sorry, my boner's pushing up against <laughs> you. I don't know. <clears throat> Well, but with like all the cameras and shit, maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you'd be all like you know, too many people around. Like, oh. mm-hmm. yeah, I suppose how it does. It, it depends on how they do the camera angles and shit. Because, I mean, I guess you could you could fake it as long as they're not. But like Monsters Ball, they show them like full body show them. So if it was something like that, that'd be hard to fake. But if it was something more like they just show your yeah. your torso and stuff and like facial expressions and whatever, you know, so, you, you could fake that. Yeah, the women especially because that's all they do. The <laughs> fake it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't have to fake it if you were good at it. Oh, that's well, the, that's the trick. Yeah, well, being good at it. I never took uh, how well, to be good at sex one hundred and one. So <laughs> figuring out how to be good at it's the hard part. <laughs> God damn. Uh, well, so I was watching a uh, uh, Ralphie May stand up mm-hmm. comedy, and he was talking. No, it wasn't Ralphie May. It was some other guy. I don't even know his name, but I remember I remember listening to the skit because it was so true. He goes, you know what the problem is? Vibrators. Vibrators are the problem? Vibrators are the, vibrators are the reason every woman thinks a man can't fuck. Because <laughs> it gets them off. <laughs> they, they're getting so fucking tuned and dialed in with their vibrators that now it takes them fucking an hour to fucking get off. <laughs> there ain't no fucking man in the world that can fucking keep well, up. What you got to do is be in tune with the toys and use the toys on mm-hmm. them and then just you're mix a, it in there. You're a toy. You're a tool. <laughs> hey, dude, but it, speaking of hey. tools, sensuous, <clears throat> you fucking, you're so dumb. Sensuous. I want you guys to spread that, spread the sensuous. Yeah. Cause Brandon wants to be known for something stupid. I didn't make it up. I wasn't the one that made it up. Who made it up? I don't know who made it up. I know who I got it from. Do you remember who you got herpes from? Who doesn't remember who they got herpes from? Yeah. That's always a traumatic, like, what is that? (laughs) That looks like herpes. I mean, I guess unless you're like whoring around and you're just banging like several people a night or whatever, then you would probably be like, well, fuck, I don't know which one gave me herpes. You ever get fucking mustache hairs that like tickle the tip of your nose? I hate those. Yeah. They yeah, curve up perfectly hurt? and then they like get caught on your nose hairs and they start pulling on them and shit. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's annoying. Fucking. And it always seems like my hands, like I'm like I'm at work, work, like hands in a motor or doing something where I'm covered in like dirt and grease and oil or something. And all of a sudden it's like randomly the hair just decides to like go from. I'm going to tickle his nose. <laughs> and I'm like, go. So you have to like find a clean spot on your arm or so something. I'm, like, like, oh, looking, uh, I'm looking at the back of the skiddler like, that looks good. <laughs> That's a good spot. <laughs> yeah. start, in, <laughs> start itching my nose on the back of the skiddler. I just find the cleanest spot I can and just <laughs> use that shit. Fucking. No, what's worse is when you get something in your eye and you have to like get it out. Oh, yeah. Usually, I'll usually just take my finger and stick it in my shirt. <clears throat> so and then stick my shirt in my eye. It's like I want to get this out there, okay? For for all of those upper level management motherfuckers <laughs> that are gonna follow us and watch us, that you know, you're either a service manager or like a store manager of a mechanic facility or a dealership or whatever. I want to let you know that yes. Safety glasses do prevent eye injuries. It's however projectiles. I want to let everybody in on a little secret that this whole like safety glasses and gloves thing 
does not prevent people from getting eye injuries or hand injuries. It fucking happens because of the what we do. Mm-hmm. You know how many times I've been like grinding welds down or or whatever and i've got my safety glasses on i've got you know my welding helmet which is also a face shield for grinding or whatever and when shit starts flying it starts flying and you get like specks of metal landing in your hair and on your forehead and on your back and and you're like oh cool job's done you take them off and you're sweating because i you're always hot and it always seems like there's never a dealership anywhere or a facility anywhere that has mechanics in it that makes enough money they can afford to put air conditioning in a shop. <laughs> Yo, that's that's like, always <laughs> weird. Hmm. That is always uh-huh. weird. Weird. But so you're sweating your ass off and you're like, oh, God damn it, I'm sweating. And you get these little debris on your hands and arms and forehead and little you're debris. sweating. And you're wiping the sweat away. Next thing you know, you're at the eye doctor getting a piece of metal ground out of your eye because yeah. sweat dripped it right down into your fucking eye. Well, and it's not even just that. But like the safety glasses, it doesn't prevent shit from going oh, through dude, the tops. Dude, the ones, the ones eyes. that are crazy what are the, the ones fuck? that... Get out of here, you crazy little bastard. The ones that are nuts are like, that? yeah, like you're... You're grinding or drilling, and you get like a speck that goes straight up and comes back down and hits the inside of the fucking safety glasses, and mm-hmm. then bounces into your fucking eye. Yeah, and then, and then the first I've question had, everyone asks you is, "Were you wearing? Well, where do you wear your safety glasses? Yeah. Hey, I, I've had go shit, do my job and wear safety glasses. I've had one shit day. somehow make its way th- like around a welding helmet." And under my fucking safety glasses before. Yeah. That shit happens. It's fucking weird, but it fucking happens. It's not very often. I had an ember one time when I was welding. This is my favorite one I've ever had. Probably because it it hurt the worst, but I was welding. And I wasn't like welding upside down or overhead or anything. It was just welding. And (laughs) this motherfucking ember... Popped off the weld, come down in my helmet. I go, oh, shit. And, like, as I moved, it bounced off my helmet and went down the fucking collar of my shirt. And I was like, shit, shit, shit. And it fucking stuck to the meat and potatoes. (laughs) And it fucking, (laughs) it burned itself in, dude. And I had a big old, big old crater where it just, like, started burning (laughs) into the muscle. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I, I... I love it when they go down the glove and you get those big embers that go right down the glove. And they I got really stuck. good. I got really good at like the one fling. So like the glove, I didn't just, have to shake it. Yeah. I could just whip in the one fling. The glove come off. <laughs> <laughs> I got really good at that. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's, it's amazing to me that there's people out there that assume that something like safety glasses, like just putting safety glasses on. Oh, you're safe. You're totally safe. Prevents safe. all fucking everything. Yeah. Putting gloves on, you can't get hand injuries anymore. Yeah. Which is stupid. Obviously, you can, but <clears throat> gloves almost make it worse because a lot of the times the shit you're working on, you can't even use gloves just to do what you're doing. Dude. Not the gloves they want you to use. They want you to use like thick ass fucking gloves with Kevlar and shit and you can't even grab a fucking bolt. I was in the ER one time and, I, <laughs> and I'm not sure. I think it was when my I don't know why I was there, but I think it was when my son was little, like, you know, we're new parents. My son's sick, not getting over it, like has a fever. And we're like, oh, he's got to go to the ER, you know? So I think it was like one of those things. Right. So we're in the waiting room waiting to like be seen. And this guy comes rolling in and he's got. I can't remember if he was in the. I think he walked in, but he had a buddy with like a giant wrap Uh around his arm. And the buddy was like squeezing his arm. And the guy like walked in with his friend holding his arm. And I was like, Like what the the (laughs) fuck is going on there? So I'm like eavesdropping. Of course you were. Right. The guy, the guy was a welder fabricator. Yeah. He was wearing safety glasses a welding helmet on grind mode while he was grinding or like cutting with a cutting disc 
Oh, yeah. He was up. wearing a welding. He still had the welding coat on when he was in there. He had a full welding coat. The we- the the cutting disc disintegrated, mm-hmm. and when it came apart, it fucking lodged in his bicep, and it was like they couldn't let go of his arm. Because as soon as they let go of his arm, it was spewing yeah. fucking blood. And, I, and it, I'm like thinking to myself, see, now th- this is a perfect example of how all these people tell you that you have to have everything and your brother under the sun for safety equipment. But nobody ever thought of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... Those are scary. I've had them blow But I don't like before. I don't like broadcasting shit like that because you say that to the wrong fucking engineer or safety guy, the next thing you know, you're wearing a fucking full Kev- body armor, Kevlar fucking like you're about suit to go defuse a bomb and just fucking to go, Iraq and shit. Just, just go fabricate a fucking hand railing or something. <laughs> like, well, don your suits. Don your suits. You gotta go. And he'll be like, cut this bolt off. They'll be like, and. And make sure not not only do you have to wear the suit, but because we can't afford AC in this multi million dollar <laughs> facility, you can only wear it for five minutes at a time. And you got to stop, take a break, mm-hmm. so that you don't overheat. That's a confined space, technically. Hey, are, are what you if, certified? Confined space certified. What if you put AC in the shop? Oh, if we don't make enough no, money for too that. Much. <laughs> uh, you're doing that. Our shop in Phoenix, but in the, Phoenix, Arizona, didn't have AC. We had swamp coolers. The sales guy has a fucking truck that blows 61 degree air conditioning and he just went and took it in because he was bitching it was blown too hot <laughs> yeah i yeah, know he's sales though yeah. he's sales it's they're different important. he's <laughs> fucking, <laughs> they're not as replaceable if you're a you. sales guy I, I we're just making fun of sales we're being serious about but it fuck so you. fuck just you. kidding <laughs> no but but for real but for real a bunch of bussies <laughs> Uh, Holy shit. It's so real. <laughs> Fucking the troubles. The troubles. The troubles. Hey, uh, I gotta look at my notes here because I was going to ask you something. Your notes. Uh, I got a question oh, for you. Oh, what? what is it? Because I got, I, asked, <laughs> I remembered I was going to talk to you about something because I thought about it the other day. Oh. Uh, Go about, ahead because mine might take a minute. Okay, Mind so bait, if you will. So remember how I keep saying, like, I feel like, I, f- I feel like I'm I'm turning into a lard ass. Uh huh. <laughs> right. So like, food, of shit in the eye, dude. Food, me and food, like, I eat it all. I love it. Food. I've never had a problem with food. And I've never been like a big fat guy. No. That was a douche burp. That was a douchey burp. I've never been a big fucking like big big fat guy. I've never had like a over like overweight problem. But I can feel myself getting bigger than I should be. And it's cuz I'm like I'm not really like okay, half half of that burrito was enough. You can stop. Dude, I've been like <laughs> <laughs> I could totally finish this. I can totally finish it. And I've been eating like a fucking, I've been eating like a fat guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I wrote down a question and I got to make sure, I got to make sure I, I say it correctly. <laughs> because Say it correctly. Yeah. Okay. So I wrote it down because I wanted to say it correctly. Have you ever field dressed a rabbit? Mm-mm. No? No. Okay, so when you go out hunting and you shoot a rabbit, there's an easy way to field dress a rabbit. And for those of you who don't know what field dress means, it means remove the internal organs from the animal so that the body, the muscle temperature is cool so that you can go home and then later skin them and eat them for dinner or whatever. But like a rabbit, you don't have to cut them open or anything. Their, thi- their skin is so thin that you can just squeeze around the rib cage and like milk them down and all the internal organs come out their butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking about it the other day because <laughs> I was fucking, I was in the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it I dropped in your car? Uh, uh, a can. 
<laughs> dropped a can. I dropped a can on the floorboard, and I had the seatbelt on, and I leaned forward <laughs> to grab it, <laughs> and I felt like a rabbit getting field dressed. I thought I was gonna shit my guts. <laughs> and he could tell by the noise he made. It was just. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I felt the blood rush to my head, my face get red, and I was like, Ugh! "Oh god!" And like, uh, I had to take the seatbelt off and like slide over in the seat and like lean over <laughs> sideways to get it. I'm like, "Okay, it's 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 time to fix that." I'm telling you, we need to start going to the gym, eating better instead oh, of eating fuck. tacos. Those fucking fish tacos today were. Bomb. I don't like. I don't like the fish tacos. It's carnitas. That's what I'm not I telling you get. that that's bad because those are good as shit too. I'm just a fan of fish tacos. I just don't fish. Me and fish don't don't get along too. Unless it, like salmon. Salmon is obviously really good. Or uh, tempe's tempe. I like tempe's. Uh, we're about to have that. His tomorrow. walleye. We're about that to walleye. have that tomorrow. Yeah, I'm down with that. That's good. We're gonna. But like, it. I don't. I don't do cod and. Bleh. We're having, a, we're having a fish fry for yeah. our Richards meeting. Yep. <clears throat> so That's going to be good. I got a question for you. What do you got? What do you got? Shoot. Shoot him again. What do you got? I keep pulling my shirt out because it's like hugging my belly. I'm, I'm like a, <laughs> uh, fat boy. has been talking about it. Fat boy. Who would win in a fight? Oh. Me. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Gorilla or a bear? <laughs> what kind of bear? Grizzly bear, of course. Ooh, okay. I've I've done this debate before. Um mm-hmm. and so I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you what I think first. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going I'm gonna tell you about the last time I debated this and what happened. I think a silverback gorilla would win that fight every time. I think so too. Absolutely. Not not only are they strong and agile, but they're pretty fast for how big they are. You ever seen one in like a yeah, dude? Oh, but God. like you gotta think a bear. They're obviously big as they fuck. Make, they're they strong make. as fuck. But a gorilla is gonna have more. I feel like more opportunities and shit to <clears throat> just jump on the back of the bear and just start beating the fucking so, ever loving shit out of it. Just ripping hair out and shit. <laughs> you, dude, you saying Bolt huh? would look slow as fuck racing a gorilla? Mm-hmm. He's the fast man alive, or was last I knew. Probably still is, dude. That, that I don't kid. know. Like if it's like if if they're like next to each other and, and racing down like actual track, I feel like he could. No, they can't. They can't go the distances like he can, though. Dude, have you ever seen how fast a gorilla can go from point eight to point pissed off? Yeah, <laughs> but I bet he can Holy run faster fuck. scared than they can mad. Uh, <laughs> so, dude, they're so fast. Like, but here's but the thing. But they're more quick. I've also seen videos of, like, mama grizzly bears that charge boats on, like, sure. rivers. They're fat. Yeah, they're, they're fast. They're fast but, as fuck, too. But you got to think, in a, like, say, in a tight, a tight <clears throat> quarters, right? Yep. I feel like a gorilla can maneuver a lot better than the bear. Who's going to have to, like, this big, long bear has got to have to, like, take longer turns and shit. So. And then a gorilla who just hop around and, like, jump over the fucking gorilla, or, I mean, the bear, and just. When I was in, when I was in the Air Force, we had this debate. And on the particular day that we had this debate, we, we got pretty heated about it. And it was pretty even between, like, everybody that was in the debate. So what we did was we started calling every major zoo in the United States that we could think of, like New, like like the San Bronx Diego Zoo, Zoo, San Diego, uh, Minneapolis. Like we started calling all these major city zoos. We're like, hey, can we speak to your bear specialist or your primate specialist? Yeah, sure. And they'd answer the phone and be like, hey, question, shoot. If a grizzly and a silverback were to fight, they'd be like, hold on. <laughs> Who are you and do you own either of the two? <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, we're, we don't own them. We're not going to fight them. It's a hypothetical. 
who do you think would win? And they both said that the winner of, like, every, every zoo we called basically said the same thing. The winner of that fight would basically come down to the gorilla would win if it would move quick enough that the grizzly couldn't land the first swat. Oh, sure, yeah. If a, if a grizzly fucking they, just swatted the fuck out of the They gorilla. said if the grizzly bear landed the first swat, the gorilla would be fucked up. But if the, if the uh, silverback was able to get in and get a hold of the bear, they said, hands down. The silverback's way meaner. <laughs> it's yeah. Gonna oh yeah. Bear up. Yeah. So, I I counted that as a win. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was right. I picked the I silverback. Girl. I think the silverback definitely. Hey, if you guys think that uh, we're wrong on the on our guess, go ahead, shoot us, send it, get us a comment, uh, shoot us an email. That's K love you by B Y at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Shoot us your opinion on who would win and why you think they would win. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, I tell you what, uh, we went pretty extensive on, on the zoos. I think we called like eight and they all said it would, it would be like a, it'd be a hands down. It'd come down to who got the first good blow. blow yeah i still, I still think it'd be the gorilla <clears throat> but here's the thing that baffled me a, a full-grown adult grizzly bear they said was like 12 to 1500 pounds guess how much a full-grown adult gorilla silverback gorilla like weighs? 800 pounds no how much between 350 and 500 pounds so there's a huge weight disadvantage there I don't know. The, really? Yeah. Yeah. They said it, there was a huge weight disadvantage. Huge. Like, are Oop. you Googling it? I'm gonna, I got to yeah. Google it. What? How much does a full-grown gorilla weigh? It was like 350 to 500 pounds, something pop, like that. Popped right up. Wow, that's adult males weigh an average of 300 pounds and up to 500 pounds. Yeah. Dude, I Stand told you. six feet tall. That's it? Six yeah. feet tall? I'm not as, I don't, I feel like I'm not as scared of gorillas Dude, now. That but they, but, <laughs> used to but be. They, say, they say, if you could, if you could get a silverback to lay down on a bench press, a flat bench, and actually do a bench press, they say they could bench like, well, sure, like 2,500 so pounds. So if you look shit. at gorillas though, they don't like, with us, our legs are probably some of the bigger part. Like their their legs compared to like their fucking massive torsos and arms aren't shit, dude. They got these little baby legs, yeah. <laughs> these fucking torsos and arms that are as big as your fucking body, dude. The arms. Think I mean. about think about a three hundred pound man bench pressing twenty five hundred pounds. Mm-mm. That's a fucking gorilla. Yeah, That's scary, dude. Yeah. So being as that you're in the air force, another debate for you. I guarantee you guys have had this debate before. Master debate? Master debate. Master debate. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. So you have an airplane and it's on a treadmill. Mm. Engine's running. It's on a treadmill. Yeah. Will it take off? Okay. So knowing what I know about airplanes, no. 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 I honestly thought you were going to say yes. And I was. So. No, it would not. Knowing what I know about airplanes, no, it will not take off. No, you need lift. The wheels will turn really fast. It'll, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll run. It'll sit right where it's at. But the whole point of the engines is to propel yeah. forward yeah. to get that airflow under the wings yeah. to fucking create lift. Dude, that has been that has been a a debate. I think since I don't want to say airplanes were invented, but definitely treadmills. <laughs> yeah, maybe a long fucking time that's for sure and i just don't i i don't understand how people can think that it would take off hey do you think we could shorten our runway if we made it more like a treadmill 
<laughs> it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense yeah. it wouldn't dude there's a lot it, of- it's sure it's fucking turning and burning <laughs> but it ain't fucking moving there's how is there of- any airflow on her there's a lot of people dude it's it's like the same circumstance right when you like saw so like a cessna airplane uh-huh right a cessna airplane will read like your ground speed and it'll read like your airspeed or whatever but have you ever seen like those videos where the airplane is up in the air and it's open throttle it's flying right but it's not moving because the wind is blowing so hard, mm-hmm. the airplane is just sitting in one place, yeah, in the air. Because the wind, their headwind is blowing so hard, it just keeps them. Just yeah, it's because of the the air under the the wings. Yep. it's it's like the the treadmill thing, but backwards. Well, just think of this too. <clears throat> Say you're sitting in a car, right? And you know when you drive down the road, and you got the windows down. You take your hand out like this. Yeah, like this. I got to put it in the camera, I suppose. Put like this, and you kind of just float. You can feel the air, and it just kind of hangs up there. You don't have to do a whole lot. Now imagine you're in the same car, and you're on a treadmill, and you put your hand out the window. What's it going to do? It's going to drop. <laughs> well, no, you're going to hold it there. It's not gonna well, you're going to hold it there. Yeah, it's not going to drop. It's not, but if you like stop holding it, and you're just like, let's see what happens. It's going to go down. Yeah. Because there's no airflow. Yeah. Dude, I, I know all about that because... I did the whole hand out the window trick mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago on my way back from uh, Green Bay. The whole way. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I had the window down the whole the whole way. I'm just, I, 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 cars I, are coming. I'm like, aha, watch this. And then like they'd get close to me. I'm back. Like, F- F-22. I used to do the whole thing where like I'd go and I would stick my hand up and let the whole thing catch the wind and see if I could. Hold my arm before it hit the back of the window. <laughs> nope. No. It always hit the back of the window. Always. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, those are good. What? Dude, we need to have we need to have more debate questions. We should. Like that. Dude, because yeah. that's it wasn't much it wasn't much of a debate though, because we no. both agreed on both things. Yeah, we agreed on it. But uh but uh, I think I think there's there's definitely things like that out there that we we need to discuss so that you guys can give your opinions on because oh i guarantee there's people who have opinions on that will oh yeah there's so many people out there like fuck you grizzly bear all day yeah or the i was attacked by one once i know how strong they are (laughs) (laughs) i fought a grizzly once hey they're fucking strong guess what bear spray don't work (laughs) (laughs) speaking of have you seen those videos of like people on hiking trails and like mountain lions they're just like casually like yeah, keep backing up with your camera. Yeah. Eventually, you're going to trip, and I'm going to eat your fucking face off. Yeah. I see. The, Dude, the guy be, yelled at it and shit. I'd be Get fucking, the fuck out of here. And it just stopped. I'd be panicking Yeah, so I, hard. Yeah, those things are fun. Like, God damn. I, I should have been having my safety glasses I think on. I would be less scared of a bear than a big cat. Fuck no. Like, a bear's going to so. a bear's gonna maul you. And like beat the fuck out of you to death. But a cat genetically knows it needs to bite your throat. Like if you if a cat wants you dead, it's going to bite your throat <clears throat> and you're you're done. So the thing that's that's scarier about like a big cat compared <clears throat> to like a bear. A bear, it's gonna like announce itself. You're gonna know it's there. So some like most of the times, like a big fucking cat, they're gonna stalk the shit out of you. Yeah. In you know the right circumstances, Dude. and then they're just gonna fucking when you're not you like don't have a chance to fight back or or whatever. If I could wear like a like a steel neck brace and then go fight a cat, I probably wouldn't be so scared. Just a neck brace, like you don't want to protect your balls or. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna get fucked up, but <laughs> yeah, like I if I could put a, a steel like I just I just want you to know I don't like know if C, you know this like a C collar, but I, I made a I steel. Know, I don't know if you know this, but you can you can bleed out from other places other than your neck that will kill you. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> like your thigh area, yeah, that'll kill the fuck out of you. Yeah, but I mean, I think my chances of fighting off a cat would be would be better than a bear. <clears throat> If I was wearing like a fucking metal C collar where they couldn't get my neck. 
Because you know they're gonna go for your neck. Okay, so what a would cat you, is like genetically. What would you rather fight a a big cat or a shark? Who? A shark would be really hard because you're. Well, slow. see, a shark doesn't go for anything specific, so they they're gonna grab you wherever. To I mean, oh, fuck. That's yeah, because they're a lot bigger than you. Dude, a cat's still going to go for your neck. On ground? What is with you in the neck? They're going to go. Dude. Every, I get it. I get it. It'll kill you or whatever. Uh, no. But. Every cat goes for your neck. Once they got your neck, you're fucking done. Sure. You're not getting them off. They're going to Imagine being in, in dark water. Mm. You got this shark. You know it's there, but it's swimming around you somewhere, and it just <clears throat> comes out of nowhere. Fucking either or. Uh, cat or shark? Definitely not a shark, I don't think, because that's, first of all, being in that dark water is sketchy as fuck. Yeah, Second they, of all, you can't move for shit in water. You, you'd you have a better chance with a cat, I think, than a shark. If it, like if, yeah. a sh- if both animals said, we're fighting to the death, and like their, their goal, like not just a random, I think you're a seal. Oh, no, you're not a seal. I'm yeah. going to swim away. If they both thought, we're fighting to the death. I'm going to kill you or you're going to kill me. I think my chances would be better oh, be with, with the, a cat. Yeah. you definitely it'd be easier to kill a cat than a shark. Well, because here's the Do thing. Do you have a knife or is this bare hands? Here's the thing. Oh, God. If it's bare hands, you're fucked either way. You're, well, but, no. But, you could get the cat. You'd definitely be fucked with a shark. What are you going to do? Jab its eye out? Here's the thing. I get to fuck its gills with your... your <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, shark. Oh, fuck fuck your gills. I'm a finger That's all you could do. Finger, you just fucking finger fuck the shit out of its gills I'm and hope you do some damage. I said shark to fucking two bu- <laughs> ten buck two. <laughs> Even if you punch it, you'd be like in the water. You know it's gonna Dude. be like blah, 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 through if the you, fucking water. If, if you could, if you could reach around and stick your finger in the shark's butt, do you think it would react? <laughs> yeah. Do you think it would be like, know. hey, that's my fucking asshole? No, probably no. not. Nah. Because they probably take bigger shits and you can fucking anything you can put inside of them. <laughs> They're shitting out license. No, they don't shit out license plates. Okay, so definitely the cat. And, I'm, and here's my logic I can survive longer being fucking mauled where I can still breathe than if I was in the water with a shark and they had me underwater. If if the shark gets me and they're mauling me, yep. my 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 chances of opportunity to get that motherfucker back are like, I've got like a minute and a half, maybe. Yeah, because not only are you fighting the shark, but you're fighting not having air. Yeah, you're fighting two enemies, two enemies at once. Yeah, yeah, like a cat. Now, now I I can fucking, you know, as long as I'm not bleeding out, I got all the time in the world. With a cat. As long as I'm not bleeding out. I, I'm going with cat. Definitely cat. Yep. Cat. Shark or cat? I'm going with cat. Cat. Fuck sharks. Yeah, fuck sharks. <laughs> fuck sharks. Do those people that fucking swim with sharks? Nope. Do uh have you seen those like scuba divers that swim with sharks? Like they like get on the bottom and they like put their hands on their mouth, like their nose and shit. Mm-hmm. I've Always wanted to do that. No, I saw a video uh, not too long ago. This guy was in a cage and it was like, you know, by the boat, or whatever. And somehow the shark got inside the cage with him. Mm. Yeah. And it was just, you couldn't see anything. What and was and let me it. guess, the shark wasn't there just to say, hey, what's up, dude? No, nope, it was not. He was trying to fucking <laughs> eat. <laughs> and it was just, you couldn't see shit. It was just bubbles and fucking splashing and oh, this cage fucking <laughs> flopping around and shit. And I think the guy made it out somehow. But fuck that, dude! When you All watch, to hell. When you watch Shark Week, yeah, and you like pay attention to some of these Shark Week episodes, some of these scientists are are starting to figure out like these sharks are way fucking smarter than people give them credit for, mm-hmm. and they like they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, like, like these great whites and shit, where, uh. They, the one I just saw this last this last Shark Week season, <laughs> Shark Week season. They were they were taking videos of these great white sharks at two different stages of the year, based off of like what they were doing. 
they took pictures and then they took like these they had these samples of like it was like a color spectrum that they were trying to get in the photo so they could compare the color of the great white shark between like on the bottom by the by the cage that they were in mm-hmm. and up when it like breached to fucking eat the seal decoy and they fucking found out that great white sharks can change the color of their gray to camouflage themselves in different scenarios. But yeah, that's why they're two-toned. That's why they got the white on the bottom got, and the darker but, on top. But, but the gray, they can change the color of the gray to, to blend in better with whatever depth of water they're in mm-hmm. and the environment they're in. They can lighten their gray or darken it so that they're more invisible. So like Ugh. they found out when they're when they're like trying to get seals and shit and it's like deeper water and whatever, they'll darken their fucking the gray color so that the seals can't see them down below swimming up on the surface so they can fucking ambush. They can come out of nowhere. Mhm. Bastards. <laughs> yeah. And I got to thinking, I'm like, why haven't people, we've been hunting deer and buffalo and shit for fucking thousands and thousands of years. Why can't we camouflage ourselves so we don't have to buy fucking Sitka and all this expensive (laughs) fucking camo? We don't have that capability. No. We need to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. All right, dude. Well, it's time to get out of here. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Love you much. Is that fucking time already? Is that time already, sir? I feel like we just started. I think you're bullshitting. I don't bullshit. I'm sorry, you guys. Brandon keeps fucking selling you guys short here. He's fucking cutting us off too early. I'm not. Cutting you right at the right time. Okay. Well, fuck you. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate the fuck out of you. Hit the smash button, bro. Yep. Smash it. Hey, for real. We love you guys. We appreciate you tuning in. We're here for you. We want you to be here for us. Hit that smash button. Subscribe, like, share, comment, follow. All of the things. Yep. Till next week. Till next week. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, love you, bye. (laughs) Okay, love you, bye. Let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Full shots. Full shots.